The goal of this tutorial is to create this beautiful um, gun animation. So we will take a pistol and put it back. And also the same with the rifle. We take a rifle. I have to make it visible. So we take a rifle and put it back. So, and this is the final result. Let's start. So now we want to make this animation. I will skip the walk animation. I have uh, a couple of tutorials how to do them in my channel already. So uh, I will focus mainly on the animation of the wrapping switch. But first of all, we need an idle animation. So I go into the post mode. Therefore, I have to select the middle wick. Uh, object mode. Display. Now, there we go. Okay. Um, yes, so maybe from the front, there we go, it seems to work fine. Oh, the IK is wrong, <laughs> just notice it. No, the IK shouldn't be here, it should be there. I change it. So, just um, as a quick Recap how to create IK. Just specify um, the bone, and then the, this bone is a target bone. So arm right target and arm right pole, and the chain length too. Uh, there we go. It looks it looks okay. I would say. Um, Maybe the degree should be minus 90. Now it looks like it should. And yes, we can move it. So GR to reset it. And now let's try it again. Okay, we put it here. Um, yeah. Maybe here. And the same. The same goes for this hand. Okay, this is a this is pretty relaxing um, pose. So uh, to be to be more aware of what's going on, we will move up the feet a little bit, rotate them. No, then I have to use the forward kinematics. So yes. Grab the root bone, get just a little bit down, the rest comes from here, and lean a little bit forward. So there we go. So the hands should be, where should the hands go? Here? Yes. But that seems to be okay. Okay, let's take this as a post mode. Um, the frame one is a little bit weird in Blender, so it's black. Frame zero is black, so I don't know why. But uh, we need a separate window. Oh no, this is join. I don't want to join. So there we go. Here we can add new windows. Um, the window here will be the timeline. And up here we will take um, take the dope sheet and let it display here. Now it looks pretty similar so action editor should be here there we go new action cause action idle and go we can animate um, we should uh, take all of the bones and record them make a keyframe set the duration to maybe 10 and the start to zero. Now it looks a little better. And here we go. Now we can really say, okay, we want to specify our keying set. And this is location and rotation. We won't scale any bones. So we won't only um, change the rotation and location during our progress. And there we go. Then we want to insert a keyframe for all the channels, and there we go. Unfortunately, this doesn't, doesn't let me insert any keyframes. All channels, okay. 
But as soon as I move one of these bones, tick, there we go, a key, a key is created. So, mm, so what I just do is uh, pressing Alt G R and there we go. Uh, unfortunately, we have to recreate our pose, but that's no problem. We should be pretty fast. And maybe here on the fifth frame, we go down a little bit, just just to have some kind of breathing. So just okay, because your 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 body is moving every time, all the time. So um, as soon as you change a little bit, that's enough. Just just change anything. So, for example, go back, go forth. Okay, that's enough. So your head, knock a little bit. And um, then we get, can just copy the keyframes. And there we go. Uh, play the animation. Okay, looks quite right. Uh, maybe we do it a little bit longer. Mm, this should span over two seconds. So we take 50 keyframes, select all the three, go here, scale it with Control and with F. And there we go, play. Okay, the character's living, do you agree? Okay, there we go, we have an idle pose. Now let's switch the weapons. Um, therefore we need a new action, now we have an idle action. We can click this one to force it, so the F then for, stands for force, so it's forced to be saved. Uh, here we already have an animation uh, by Mixamo does nothing, we can really delete it, do not force it, delete it, okay. Zero means it will be deleted in the next save. A little bit strange if you ask me, you can't really delete it here. Um, but that's the way it is. Okay, uh, we need a new one. So we can create a new action by clicking this uh, button that looks like a copy button. So this program is really not intuitive. But we will do um, the first switch, and this is maybe um, get AK. So now we want to get the AK. Um, we delete the keyframes here, and now we create new keyframes. So there we go. We go to maybe after 10 milliseconds. Um, we do not care about the weapon. So we will uh, activate and deactivate the weapons in Unity. So we assume that only one of them are visible and in this animation the back weapon is visible and now we're um, now we're going to, to, to grab it. Um, one thing that is really missing is um, the forward kinematics for our fingers. So the fingers should really Hold the weapon, just grab this, and the thing is, this must go down. So this is the elbow pole, I hope I have the right one, yes, this must go down, and doing our up animation, this must go up, and it should go down until here. So this is what it looks like, let's go to the next keyframe here. And we go even further. We grab it. And our hand should be here. And now the pole is more and more important as, as more it bends towards a specific uh, position. So, and now. I wasn't right, so the uh, hand should be should be as it was, so now it should grab. Um, but we will fix it, it's no problem. Okay, here we can rotate our hand as we please. So there we go. And I should say, okay, this is okay. He just grabs for it, it doesn't have to be perfect. But um, we can duplicate the keys here just to have the same movement back. And the good thing is the hand is, is, is okay now. Um, sorry. The hand is good. So 
The only thing we have to change is, is the hand should be open here. Or we can just, oh, ju just a quick method, um, take this selection tool, mark all your things, Alt G R, and it's in, in, in the normal position again. Um, and here we are. It's pretty good because now we have to um, find a position where he can move into a shooting position. So here is the, the bone. And um, yeah, he should really use two hands. So uh, closer to the body. And this is the bone the weapon is attached to. So let's rotate it. It should point uh, straight forward because this is the direction he will shoot. And therefore I will grab this bone. Uh, I don't want to um, put it here. I could, but uh, it's cooler to, to shoot uh, from the body and not directly looking at it. Now our character can really grab it. How it should be. Okay. So take more time to make it uh, nicer. Um, I will continue because it won't give you anything um, in depth. So this is what it looks like. So he just, he's starting here, then he grabs his weapon and he's going back to this position and the last position we don't need anymore. So select it, delete the keyframes. Um, just grab it here and move it to the 40, we will shorten the clip and play it. Okay. Doesn't look so good because it's really stopping at this point. So this point, in, the, in this point, the uh, thing should be a little bit lower. And I select everything, go to this point here uh, and make it faster. For example, 12 frames should be enough. Because you, you have to keep in mind that the, the, the player is uh, playing your game and um, he really wants a fast change. You can spend a lot of time just animating those things, but um, I will leave it like that. And we can play it backwards and we already have the animation to put it back so um let's create a new one this is get pistol so i get rid of all the keyframes here we start in the same position so just grab it there we go um then move the fingers. If you're confused with the AK and so on, um, you can also always um, uncheck in front. So then it's harder to rig, but you can also say, okay, there are two AKs. One is on the back and one is in the hand and you can maybe disable them both. And now you see what's really happening. Um, there are other techniques where you can really hide some of these things. Just put it in another layer uh, and it will help you. But now it's not so easy. There we go. Looks a little bit better. To, to the position where the final position should be. So here we go. Just take the arm and point it somewhere meaningful. Okay, we take the other arm. Uh, the other arm should support it. As always, take care of the elbow. They should be in the same position now. Um, just grab it where it should be. So basically it's the same position. So insert a keyframe for all channels. And there we go. This is what it looks like, nine frames maybe. Maybe this is really a little bit shorter than the other one. Maybe 15 frames. Let's play it. Looks quite okay. Okay, uh, we will save here and we do the walk animation. I will do a walk cycle, but uh, I will leave it like that for now. In the next episode, we will import this into Unity and create the animation graph. Subscribe to my channel to get more straight to the point tutorials.